Hello everybody, welcome to another art video. Today we'll be doing my favorite Pokemon as a part two to my least favorite Pokemon. So, uh, what should I call you guys? I can call you the followers of Gub. I can call you the anti-haircutters since I hate haircuts. I can call you the super idiots. I can, uh, I can call you the people I hate, although that's very unrealistic, so I probably won't call you that, but I can, and I might. Don't think I might go soft on you, because I might call you the idiots I hate if you guys don't like and subscribe, so you know, go uh, smash that like button, and uh, It'll give you a free subscribe to me, and make sure you don't hit that bell, since you can just find the videos in your recommended. And, uh, unfortunately for me, only, um, I don't know what percentage of you aren't subscribed to me, so why don't you just, uh, I don't care what you do, honestly. I don't care if you subscribe to me. I don't care if you don't. It's uh, all okay with me. I'm just doing this for fun. Because I like showing people what I like and dislike. So yeah, first up on this list we got Reggie Lucky. Might have already said that. I don't know. I've got like short term memory loss or something. Um, so yeah, this is Reggie Lucky. And uh, he's pretty cool. He's an electric type. A lot of these Pokemon are electric type. So yeah, that's Regieleki. Next up on my list of favorite Pokemon, it's going to be an unpopular one. It's Miltank. A lot of people hate Miltank. Mainly because it just sucks. That's it. But I personally like Miltank. I think Miltank's a decent Pokemon. Not stat-wise, of course, but design-wise. If you haven't noticed... These videos are mainly going off of, uh, you know, design, if you haven't noticed already. But they are, so, you know, if you disagree with me, just, it's design-wise, not stat-wise. So don't say, these Pokemon suck, and it's practically you trust in an online battle. Don't say things like that, because I don't care, and I couldn't care. I couldn't care any less. Because you know what? I already care so little that I, if I could care less, it wouldn't physically be possible. So why don't you go take your good old Pokemon and go shove them down a drain if you disagree with me. I don't know. Just... Next up we have Zerkatry, which is a Christmas tree light. Pokemon. I don't know. And uh, my least favorite holiday musically is Christmas. So if some of you start thinking, oh, we like Christmas on this list, maybe I should send them some Christmas music through emails. Don't. But like, why would you do that anyways? It's just a stupid idea. As, you know, he's an electric type, so much expected of everybody on this list. <laughs> um, next up is Nihilego, or however you say it. That jellyfish ultra beast. You also notice that some of these are going to be cool ultra beasts. Because I like ultra beasts. There. Ultra Beastie, or something. I don't know. It's a water type, I think. It might be Water Bug. I'm not too familiar with the Ultra Beasts. Like I said, this is design. Oh God, don't say that. Um, but you know, it's just my personal opinions on whether or not they're cool looking. And uh, next up, we got. Um, 
you can probably guess what this Pokemon is just by the design so far. Just just by the eyes, actually. It's Galarian Zapdos, which is like... You know Angry Bird Space and how that the yellow bird turned purple on that one and looked the exact same as this bird? Yeah, I think they copied that, so... I don't know, a potential lawsuit can come in. But, you know, this is this is a good Pokemon. It's shiny form even better, because, you know, blue and pink shinies are, like, my thing. Next up, we have uh, Ribomb The coolest bug type, in my opinion. And, you know, it's a uh, bug type, so it's gonna... It's gonna be easy to draw. And I like how non it's not even a bee, and the other one's not even a fly, but I think it's like butterfly and honeybee, I would think. I'm not too sure, but you know, the shiny's also pretty good. It's a pink shiny, and you already know I'm all about those. And uh, what's my next Pokemon on my greatest Pokemon of all time list? Here's the thing. In my last video, I featured Simapore, but I now deeply regret that as I've only seen the design a few times and I got it mixed up with a different Pokemon. So anyways, I like Simapore. Simapore is a good Pokemon because it looks like a stupid and you know, Pokemon that look like a stupid are the greatest Pokemon. So you know, I like Simapore and I don't remember how it looks. I'm just gonna draw like that because you know, Simapore. Yay! Um, next up on my favorite Pokemon list is, uh, actually, um, mm -hmm. it's, uh, a newer Pokemon. Newer Pokemon. There's a lot of those. It's Inteleon, and yeah, I called it a newer Pokemon, even though it's not that new anymore. But, you know, compared to, like, I don't know, Gen 2, it's pretty new. So, this is Inteleon, he's, he's, uh, he's cool, and I hate all the other starters. Yes. Next up is Poplio. See, my former favorite type was, uh, it was indeed water type, so you'll be seeing a lot of those on my list, too. But I've retired from my water type days. I only like, uh, electric type now. Let's draw some little waters in here for effects. Um, next up is, uh, You know, it's a Reggie, but it's uh, not Reggie, Alecki, or Drago. I hate Drago. If you can tell by what I'm drawing right now, you'd know what it is. But if you're an absolute idiot and can't tell what I'm drawing, I'll tell you what it is when I'm done. Uh, what pattern do the eyes go on? I want to say they go like this. Not too sure about that, though. Correct me in the comments. Yeah, if you want to, of course, I don't, like, actually ask you to comment. But, yeah, if you're an absolute idiot and have no idea what I'm drawing, it's Registeel! Yay! Registeel's a cool Pokemon. Also, please, please don't use this as a reference video. I don't know if he's got legs like these. But, yeah, Registeel's just a Steel-type, and Steel-types are decently cool, in my opinion. They're just not the greatest, so, you know. That's that. Next up, we've got our original Moltres, because, you know, why not have an original Moltres instead of the obviously cooler Moltres? Also, it bears a huge resemblance to Weird Al Yankovic in this. Fun fact, I got a copyright claim from him one time on, a, on the Hardware Store video. You go searching back far enough, you'll find it. But yeah, this looks like Weird Al Yankovic. 
Now it really looks like Weird Al Yankovic, even though he doesn't have glasses, and now it just looks like him even more. Yep, there we go. It's the official Weird Al Yankovic branded Moltres. <laughs> Next up is, uh, Slow King. No, not Galarian Slow King. Just regular Slow King, because Slow King's cool. Galarian Slow King's also a zombie, so that's why he's not on this list, because he's a zombie. He also kind of looks like Homer Simpson, not Galarian, but this one does, which I find pretty cool. I think he's got a staff. Not a wand, but a staff that he hits people with. Specifically, his royal servants. And, you know, he's got the actual tail instead of the shoulder on the tail. Just draw a little sad shoulder over here. Oh, God, they don't have eyes there. That's not where the eyes go. And for dramatic effect, I'll include the tears. And I'll color him in with purple. Because, you know, I'm nice like that to shoulder. He's sad right now, so best I can do is color him in. So, yeah. He might have eyes up here. I don't remember. I'll just draw him anyways. So, that's that. Uh, next thing I wanted to say was... Uh, if you support my channel enough, you get the official Milk Turtle plushie. Which is the greatest plushie to ever exist, probably because it's a turtle. With a glass of milk on his back. What else? What, other, what, other, what in the world would you ever want? Any, why in the world would you want anything else besides this? It's the greatest plushie of all time. Right here. I'm drawing the little plushy arms because you can have like cylinder arms. Yeah, it's the, it's the greatest plushy right here. Greatest plushy right here. Yeah, so if I get enough support, I'll like release this guy. He's pretty cool. And you know what? And you know what? You know what? There may even be a limited version. Because the actual one's not going to be limited. But like. Maybe on the last day of uh, every other month, we I mean, know on the last day of May, I'll just have this guy because, you know, May is a cool month, you know, it's summer. What's not to like about it? It's warm, got plenty of activities, and what's better? You get a plushie. And uh, next one, I can't forget this guy. Ducklet. You may be thinking, why Ducklet? What about, like, Farfetched? He's got a leak. Does this guy have a leak? No. Plus, he's, like, blue. His shiny is probably cool, unless it's a green shiny, which I doubt it is, because, you know, Ducklet's just like that. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know? Yep, I knew it. I knew it. He's got the best shiny in the game. Right here. Best shiny in the game. Best shiny. Right here. Yep, that's it. Alright, so. Um. Now I want to cover, like. Um. This one goes a long way. So I'm going to cover this guy. He's, he's cool. He's vanilla. He's. Vanilla, I think. I don't know, I don't remember it too well. He, he used to be my favorite Pokemon, actually. Back in the early days of my sword run, I found this guy, and um, he, that, that was my first actual game that I beat. Because I'm a newer fan? I'm not traditional, but I'll go back and play the other games eventually. But yeah, I found that guy, named him Lad, built a legacy upon it. Yo. Right click. I didn't know you could do that on here. Sorry, I'm new to this thing um and uh yeah that might do it for my favorite pokemon so if you want to see more of this type of content go uh hit the like button it's the least you could do for uh care and you know what here's the thing here's the thing stop me if you've heard this before but only a small percentage of my viewers are actually so 
sub subscribed. So, you know, go ahead, hit that like button. I know that's not the proper symbol, but, you know, go ahead, go ahead. Hit that, hit that, hit that sub button. It's free, and you know what? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the first to say this, but if you're watching YouTube and your parents won't let you have an account, and you get mad whenever I feature these kinds of things... then, you know what? That's perfectly okay. For all the people out there who don't have an account, you don't have to do this. You don't have to subscribe to my thing. I could care less what you do. So, to all the people out there who don't have a YouTube account, go ahead, ask your parents one last time, and if they say no, you know what? I don't care, because I don't need you to subscribe. But, you know, once you get, do get a YouTube account, you might as well. So, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Bye.